I don't think I've ever thought this before, but the Goofy Gophers really reminded me of Niles and Frasier in this particular cartoon. This is Lumberjerks, and I have to say, they were just absolutely fabulous. This is a 1955 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Fritz Freeling and written by Warren Foster, and we have Mel Blanc and Stan Freeberg voicing the brilliantly named Macintosh the Gophers. And they are... Well, they've just discovered that somebody has taken their tree. And we, the viewer, knows that it's going to the sawmill and that it's going to be made into furniture. But the Goofy Gophers are determined to get their tree back. And they go off chasing after this tree. And what follows is them being quite unaware of a lot of things, despite seemingly being exceptionally intelligent. I don't know if that's just my reading of the characters, um, but that's definitely how I read them. I definitely, there's just so much about the way they spoke, their mannerisms, their responses to things. It was just so Frasier and Niles, uh, which I rather enjoyed. And I have to say, I admire their dedication to getting their tree back and rebuilding their house. And I won't say what happens, but I will say I rather enjoyed it all of the way through. It's very well animated. The sound effects are really good. The characters are brilliant. It has to be some of my favorite voice acting from Mel Blanc and Stan Freeberg. It's not silly, it's not, well, actually it is over the top, but you know, it's not um, particularly interesting on its own, but there's just something about the voices that really appeal to me and it works really well. Um, so obviously credit to, to Mel Blanc and Stan Freeberg. Really like the characters of the Goofy Gophers and this so far is my favorite Goofy Gopher cartoon. I don't know how many more, if any, I have left to see, but it will take a lot to beat this one. Lumberjerks is one that I really thoroughly enjoyed.